Lesson 8.3a, Modeling a Percent Problem. We can use a model to solve a percent problem. If we need to find 40% of 200, 40% of 200 means 40 out of each 100. We can make a rectangle for each 100 and draw a little box with a 40 in each one. Each rectangle represents 100, and each small box inside represents the number out of each 100. If we have 40 and 40, that's 80. 40% 40 of 200 is equal to 80. We can use a bar model to solve this problem. We draw a bar, a big rectangle, that represents 100% that is split into 10 sections each section represents 10% increments. The bottom scale is labeled as increments up to 200. We have 200 divided into 10 sections. That's going to be 20 per section. So it's going to skip count by 20s. We can see 40% of 200 is equal to 80. Dave sold 300 t-shirts. 28% of the shirts sold had long sleeves. How many long sleeve t-shirts did Dave sell? 28% of 300 means 28 out of each 100. We have 100, 200, 300. We have a 28 for each 100. For every 100 shirts sold, 28 were long sleeves. 28% of 300 is 28 plus 28 plus 28. That's equal to 84 long-sleeved t-shirts. Now, how many t-shirts were not long-sleeved? Well, we think 300 were sold, 84 were long-sleeved. We could subtract to find the difference. If he sold 300 and 84 were long-sleeved, that means 216 were not long-sleeved. Out of every 100 sold, 28 were long-sleeved. So if he sold 200, that's 56 long-sleeved t-shirts, and 300, that's 84 long-sleeved t-shirts. There were 50 problems on a math test. Tala scored 90% on the test. How many problems did she get correct? We make a big rectangle, and we split it into 10% increments to show 100%. There were 50 questions on the test, so our bottom scale is going to go up to 50. And we think we need to complete the bottom scale. We have 50 split into 10 sections. That's going to be 5 per section. We're going to skip count by 5s for the bottom scale. Now we can look at 90% and see that that would be 45 questions correct. That means she got 45 correct answers. 90% of 50 is equal to 45. So that's the first part of 8.3. In the remaining parts of this lesson, we'll learn how to use equivalent ratios and proportional reasoning with multiplication to solve percent problems. The next lesson is 8.3b, and we're going to be finding a percent of a number. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you'll join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.